welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm excited today because I'm actually doing something um, a little different. I'm doing an unboxing reveal of two handbags. I wasn't going to do this particular video on its own just because I feel like um, there's only two items so it doesn't really feel like enough <laughs> to really make a video of but um i did want to quickly do it because one of the items that i am revealing um is not new um but it is something that is currently on mega sale on the tory birch private sale online um so i'm going to try to link it below um i'm not sure if the, this particular color is still available but um i know there are other colors and they look gorgeous they all look really pretty so actually let me do the reveal first and that's like I said the Tory Burch bag and it comes in this dust bag I actually got mine in stores at um, Nordstrom um, so I I got to see in person I gotta try it on um, but the pricing is very very similar if not the same as the current sale price at um, the Tory Burch website so I'd highly recommend to check it out I'll leave a link below um, so that you could check it out um, I don't know if you need a special link because it, it does say private sale on it um, so hopefully that link will get you in um, but yeah it's it's pretty good <laughs> so um, I don't remember exactly but I'm pretty sure it's um, they're all under 300 at least for this style um, and they also have the peri toe they had other like tea the, the the Gemini link one a lot of them so anyway the one I'm talking about today is what I'm about to show you um, it comes in this like big dust bag and here we are Ta -da! so this is the Alexa um, and it is called the Alexa Slouchy Tote in the Aged Vach Vachetta color. So I hope you can see it. It's kind of got um, like a very soft and like squishy um, leather. It is so pretty. It's got these like very subtle lines um, that goes across and then like a T that goes right here. Um, and let me just take out the strap for you so you can kind of see it is a tote but it's a very interesting one because um it's smaller than most totes that i know of and it's not just one big pocket which is what most of my totes are um this one's actually kind of got two pockets on the outside so it's got like a magnetic uh closure but it's one of those soft ones and you, you can see so it's very easy to get in and out of which is nice and then on the other side it looks exactly the same on the inside actually let me just show you these are the straps and they're hooked through a a ring right here on both sides as you can see um and what it does is that this chain which has a really really pretty um um, leather very comfortable strap right here could be adjusted so let me just show you see so now it becomes long which is really nice because um, you have the option of wearing it just on longer um, and it's not long enough to be crossbody so let me see if I can show you really quick um, so if I wore it like doubled up it would look like this on me I haven't worn this out as you can see um, if I happen to wear it out before putting this video up I might actually insert it but otherwise it looks like that but if I were to just say use it one like on one strap then it looks like this Let's see if I can show you better so it looks like that on me Um, so this is kind of nice and why I say it's nice is because I am very short. I'm 5'1", so, um, so pretty much any tote would be too long if it has that option of adjusting straps, but, um, also totes generally look too big on me, but this one actually looks like a really good size, um, so it, it doesn't look too big on me. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see right here, but, um, yeah, it's actually not huge, but it could still fit a lot. I'll put the dimensions down below so that you can see what it looks like. So, okay, going back to this bag, um, on the top, 
you can see that it is another one of those magnetic closure but it's the soft ones and on the inside of the bag um, there are two compartments let me just take this stuff out so you can see better there are two compartments, um, one on this side and the other on this side. And this middle thing that divides it is a zippered compartment, so you can open it all the way. And it's also very, very spacious. But if we we're just looking at one side of the bag, it's also extremely spacious. I can totally see someone being able to fit an iPad or my Surface would fit in here. Um, there is, on this side, a snap button closure. So if I pull it open, yeah, right here, then it opens like that. It's a button closure. And on the other side is um, a zippered pocket. Can't do it, not looking into the, so it's a zipper pocket compartment right there. So there are no slip pockets on the inside, but um, you know, you have two big slip pockets right here on the outside, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, so I think, um, you know, if you if you had it like this, it's pretty hard for anyone to take anything out of it. And um, if you also had this down, you see, it's pretty much impossible for someone to take something. So I really like this. I think this bag is great. Um, I saw it in stores and I pretty much grabbed it there was only one left but um, what I really like is that it's kind of got the tote kind of feel to it which means you can put a lot of stuff you can use for work but it's got the like fancy chains and adjustable straps and just kind of like the very sleek look to it that I think would make it a very good transition bag as well so if I brought this after work out to a um, you know to a dinner I could see it going quite well it doesn't have any feet I just want to point out so it wouldn't be very good to place on the ground um, unfortunately but I know they sell these purse hangers a lot so um, I actually have a couple myself so what what happens is you can it folds up but you can open it up and hang it onto the, off the edge of a table and then you can just hang this under like the table so it, it actually is really nice for that okay so I'm gonna link um, the tour so it's no longer available on Nordstrom's website but on Tory Burch's private sale website not the regular one but the private sale one they do have it on sale right now so I'm going to try to link it um hopefully it works um hopefully there's still some left but like I said um from my memory they were all under $300 so um if you've been wanting a new tote if you wanted something a different than just a regular tote um that one I would highly recommend the leather is really soft but even with everything like removed from it, whoops, chains. Even with everything removed from it, you can see that it really holds its shape. See, there's nothing in it right now, and it still holds its shape. I cannot, t I cannot say for the test of time though what it will end up doing because I obviously haven't used it. But um, yeah, it just feels really soft and squishy, but holds its shape, which is awesome. It also has the big enough compartments for you to put. Um, I haven't tried putting a computer in there, but I know for sure my surface will fit in there. Um, I'll put the dimensions down so you can kind of tell if your computer can fit in there. And also the slip pockets, easy access, and yeah, the chains, it just looks nice. And also the shoulder um, strap, or the shoulder part has the, um, the leather part, which is awesome because it, it, so the chains doesn't dig into your bag, especially with a bigger bag like that. I can see myself filling it up a little bit more and um, I don't want it to cause any um, discomfort on my shoulder, so. Gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> All right. So, by the way, one second. I have this candle burning right now because it's actually cold enough um, that I could burn candles without like heating up the room too much. This one is so pretty. It's like a marble container, um, and it is from um, Cost Plus World Market. This one is called Tangerine Teakwood. So it's a really good fall fragrance, I think, because it's got some citrus, but also some woody. It's like a good transition from summer to fall. 
fragrance in case you were interested. All right, so my next item I am unboxing because it just came in. It is from Shopbox, so let me grab, oh, here it is. Cut this open. I don't usually use this exacto knife to open packages, but I did not see my scissors, so. All right, so if you've never seen the inside of a shop box, box it looks like this. Cute. All right, so the receipts in here. It's kind of cute. And then inside is. So this was on sale. And that's why I bought it. So it looks like that. Let me take it out of the wrapping. Sturdy. So, so this, <laughs> it looks so nice. Like I could see the, the shine coming, like when I'm looking, I don't, I don't know if it's really shiny on the camera, but it's, <laughs> it's, um, um, it's rose gold. Um, as you can tell, this is from the Cambridge Satchel. It is, uh, the Cambridge Satchel company. It's made in Great Britain. Um, I actually did a bag review on one of these bags before. It was the push lock bag. Um, this one is not the push lock. This one is, I believe, the Polly or Poppy, sorry, the Poppy bag. Um, so it's a little different. It's still got the push lock right here in the front, but it has a little, now a little um, handle, which is awesome because um, you can wear it like this but I'm pretty sure it comes with a crossbody strap too, so let me just... Oh, it also comes with a dust bag, which has the crossbody strap in it. There we are. So this is the crossbody strap, which they undid. All right, I can figure this out. <laughs> um, it's gonna take me a sec here. All right. All right, so I just did it up, um, but it is adjustable. So there's quite many holes, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven holes. So you do have quite a lot to work with. Um, this is the crossbody strap that came with it. Also in the rose gold color and it attaches right here so I'm just gonna do that really quick so here we are oh my god it's so shiny um, I don't know if you can actually see the real color because it's kind of got this sheen to it because it is metallic um, so I don't know if you can see it it's not blinding you so this one why I got it was because I love my rose gold and I love like a pinkish nudish color and this was it but I knew any bag that I was gonna wear crossbody um, would do terrible if I got it in a light color I did not get it but when I saw this one it was in Safiano leather so I was like oh well then that's that changes everything because now it's more durable it could withstand more scratching more scuffing and also you know light maybe mists um yeah so I'm really really happy about it um it feels like the same construction as my other one which I got in the um I think age in blue and um it's still got the same like silver hardware. You just push here and it opens like that. And then you just slip it back in like that to close. Um, and the back has the slip thing, which the other one did too. You can just, I don't know why you would, it's, it's kind of like reminiscent of school bags where you put your name to label your backpack. And so when they first made the um, school bags, that's, the purpose and I guess they just carried on with it but it does say the Cambridge Satchel company here I don't know if you can see it because it is quite bright and it has their logo and then it says made in Great Britain <clears throat> so they have the little bikes bicycle um, on the inside there's no frill frills it's just um, 
it's just like a plain um, bag and inside it's not lined it's not treated it's just got this like leathery material so it's just one um, piece on um, all around like from here down to the front and then you have two extra pieces on the side like right here um, yeah so I'm really happy with it um, it's very light um, that's how it was with the other one it's super light because there's no extra materials um, there's no lining there's no anything um, and this one is slightly bigger um, from from my mm, recollection I can check the um, sizing um, just to compare it but I'm pretty sure this one is slightly at least wider for sure um, um, I think my other one's slightly more narrow. This one does look shorter, but it could be misleading because if it is wider, then it looks a little bit more pulled this way. Um, yeah, but it also looks deeper, like there's more depth here. I'm not sure. Um, uh, I'll double check and I'll, pull, I'll put the information below. This one was on sale um, on Shopop's um, website, so I'll link it below. I know they come in many different colors. There was a black one, which is always very, very useful. I could see myself actually wearing this out as like a little clutch. So like if I just held it like that, it'll be a clutch, but I can also see myself just, you know, holding it like this. Maybe not this high, but like down lower. But I, I just want to show you, like, you know, um, I don't think I can slip it really into my wrist. So this is um, mainly how you can hold it. But um, I think I've mentioned in previous videos before, um, I really, really like bags um, that have top handles, especially if it's um, a crossbody bag. And the reason is because if I were to have this on my shoulder and I have to pull it into my car it hits everything in the middle console <laughs> as I'm swinging it in or I have to, if I'm just trying to grab my bag closer to me I have to play the fishing game where I'm like come on come on kind of thing and like I have to grab it like this um, but with a handle like this I can just take it and then remove it from my shoulder like that and like or like if I just want to pick it up really quickly and get get something from it I could um, it's just a lot better and I don't have to grip the bag or like damage the leather or anything. So I think this is a great option. Um, this one, um, I think it varied in price, but I think it, it's about $150 um, regular price. And I think it could go up to a little higher depending on like the material. But for the most part, it's under 200 And when you get on sale, you can get up to 50% off. So it is a great deal if you're looking for a kind of nice... Um, you know leather but durable and it holds its shape it doesn't lose it look you can like play with it like this. it's not gonna lose the shape i think if you sit on it for a long time it will eventually but um my other one still has has kept its shape um for this whole time so i'm very happy with it um there are you know what I've, i don't know um i've just been looking at this there is some like smudges here which is really odd because this is brand new so uh, i have to inspect it later um, closer just to make sure everything is okay but so far it looks it looks pretty good to me I think so yeah I would highly recommend this um, especially I haven't used this one but I have used other other um, my, the other one with the push lock one and I really like it it could fit a lot and honestly it's not too heavy just because the bag itself is so light um, and yeah so loving this so much yeah, I'm probably gonna bring this on my next trip because it's a great like bag just to have and because it's soft on the leather especially I, I I would feel a lot more comfortable wearing it so yeah okay anyway I'll link that below this is from shop Bob. um I'll also try to link some other colors in case um the, you know you're interested in other colors um but yeah um i'll try to style this also like i said i haven't used it yet so i can't really insert any photos unless i am delayed in posting this video but if you do want to see my outfit um with these items or other items that i've reviewed on this channel you can follow me on instagram and um it is clutch to carry all it was at the beginning of the um video but you can also find it at um i can just yeah i'll put it in the description bar below too so that if you want to see my outfits how i style these bags um 
yeah, you can see them there. Uh, I think that's all I want to say. Um, and yeah, I've ordered a bunch of other stuff. It hasn't come in. I've ordered a lot of beauty items. Um, I'm getting ready for the uh, um, Sephora VIB Rouge sale, which is coming up. It, it's every November, so I'm very excited. I need to get my list, and I might make a video on that, like, you know, what I would purchase in, my, like, my wish list, because um, I love watching those, um, because I always watch it after, and it's like, wait, I needed that. Why didn't I? You know, so it's good to get ideas from other people, but also, like, to kind of remind yourself what you um, had wanted um, from just whatever. Anyway, so uh, I probably will try to do a video of that um, soon, but hopefully this one goes up because I do want to, um, if you're interested, I want you to be able to get, take advantage of the sale. Um, okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, please just leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, bye.